Hi everybody. The purpose of this edition of Tanner Tube is to demonstrate the proper way to set up a memo using a memo template. We are finally going to learn how to use a template. So to do this we have to click on File and then we're going to click New. We've got a whole list of templates that we can choose from. We are going to choose memos and these are what we call formal memorandums. Memorandum is the long word, memo is the short word. For our formal memorandum we are all going to use the elegant design. So go ahead and click on that and then click download. This is your interoffice memorandum. Once you have the template downloaded you need to then save it and I'm going to, to name this C21 page I'm just going to say 2 for now because I don't know what page the memo is on and I'm going to add memo after the name and my initials and I'm going to save it. Okay so there's some parts to a memo that you need to know. The two line is the person to whom the memo is addressed. So if you are writing a memo to Dr. Ackerman then your memo would be addressed Dr. Period Michelle Ackerman. Notice that this particular memo types in all capital letters in this top part which is fine. From this is where you need to just click and type your name subject. The subject is sort of a short synopsis of what the content of the memo is. So I'm going to put my training memo. The date Microsoft Word will automatically fill in a date for you. CC. This is old school language for carbon copy. Even though we do not send carbon copies anymore we still use the annotation CC to indicate anybody else who will be getting a copy of this memo. Mr. Ed Janot. <clears throat> These are instructions to help you write your memo. But what you want to do is you want to select this line and hit delete it. That is going to keep you from accidentally typing your memo in all capital letters. Now you can simply select that text and start typing. You don't even have to hit delete. Just select it and start typing. Once you have finished typing the body of your memo, there really is nothing else that you need to do. A formal memo does not need initials and a formal memo does not need any special spacing, especially if you follow the memo template. So when you're asked in the future to type a formal memo, make sure you use a template and you can't go wrong. Thank you for tuning in to TannerTube.